Hey everybody, so this is the second video that I'm making talking about this missing submarine that disappeared around the wreck of the Titanic. So in case you don't know what's going on, here's a quick little reminder. So sometime today, possibly yesterday, a submarine that was carrying five people down to the wreck of the Titanic went missing while exploring the wreck. Now, some new information has recently come to light about when the sub officially disappeared. It seems that like around an hour and a half into the dive, the submarine started having problems. Now, an hour and a half into the dive, it usually takes around two, two and a half hours to reach Titanic from the surface once you begin the dive. So if they start having trouble around 90 minutes into the dive, I find it very unlikely that the sub ever reached the Titanic. Now, once the sub disappeared, a lot of people right now seem to be assuming it was due to a power failure of some kind. The sub has seven different methods to reach the surface in the event of a catastrophic system failure. And the sub also has this system to bring it up to the surface that this system triggers after 24 hours, assuming that the sub receives no commands from anybody on board. So I'm just coming up with a hypothetical scenario here. Let's assume that the sub's control systems went dead for some reason, okay? The crew can't control the sub, but they are alive and the systems are functional at the bottom of the ocean. They're stuck at the bottom of the ocean, okay? After 24 hours, the sub's safety system is supposed to kick in and it will drop these weights that are holding the sub down at the bottom of the ocean, and then the sub will be positively buoyant and the sub should come up to the surface. That's one thing that they're talking about right now. So, I mean, there's all kinds of speculation, you know, we don't know what happened. But one thing that they're actually starting to talk about now, and it's really concerning, is they think, well, at least some people think, that that 24 hour time frame hasn't triggered or hasn't come to pass yet. So that might be why the sub is still at the bottom of the ocean. However, I've seen other reports that are suggesting that it may have been over 24 hours since the sub disappeared. And if that's the case and the sub still isn't found, what happened? You know, like, like what is going on? One theory that has been tossed around, like if the sub didn't experience a hull breach, if the sub experienced a hull breach, then that is one reason why the sub wouldn't have come up to the surface, but that is very unlikely. But what some other people are suggesting is maybe the sub got tangled up in something around the wreck of the Titanic and that could be holding it at the bottom. I mean, who knows, but yeah, guys, so I'm keeping up, I'm trying to keep up to date with everything that's going on. I'll let you guys know if I find out anything new, but yeah, guys, let's just pray for all the people that are on that submarine. I hope they're found. Y'all take care.